Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel for April Creations. Well, I'm on to the big guy today. So this is a failed pour. I, I mean, it wasn't too, too terrible, but it was just too bland. Um, I got a few pearls. They were kind of bleeding here, so that's that was good, but it was just too bland for me. So I've been waiting to paint over this, and I'm hoping that this works out. And it's my first big one with the shadow pearl pour, so we'll have to see how that goes. So I have my pearl mix here. I'm going to pour it down. I know what I'm going to do. Something different. I'm going to put down some colors to go over it, and then I'm also going to put some over top and then do it again. Um, that was the quinacridone. This is the this is the this, these are the same colors as I did yesterday. That that was the golden monarch. This is the iridescent. I'm not gonna put them all down. Iridescent white. This one is Chrysocola. So I can't just do something. I have to try something new, right? Every time. <laughs> and I'm going to put a little bit of this down. And then I'm going to tilt it after I finish pouring this. And pour. over that. And we're going to tilt it now. Got to make sure I got enough paint off. This is a big canvas. Oh, I'm losing all my color. I had to put something underneath here because it wasn't, oh, it's not working out too well. It wasn't completely level. And come on down. I'm gonna get it all over my feet, that's okay. I'm barefoot. I can always hop in the pool. And then over this way. So this is going to be one where I have the colors underneath and on top. It's not going, whoopsie, I almost got, almost had to trudge it. Whoa, Wilbur, that's why I have this here. And off I go. I hope you guys can see this. I'm filming at two different angle angles, but I'm not sure if both phones work. Okay. Ooh, that looks interesting. Back I go. Ooh, la, la. That's really cool. But I'm not gonna leave it like that. I do want to keep that negative space there, I'm pretty sure. That was the iridescent. Iridescent um, white. That was the gold by TLP. Now, 
here we go with the, the blues. Oh, get away fly. I was half in the way, half in the middle of saying something yesterday and then a, a moth flew down my top. And, um, but Shelly has flies in Australia and she calls them, calls them Louie. So here I call them Louise. <laughs> So this piece I'm hoping is going to be for for um, an exhibit if it gets chosen. Still a lot of paint. Pretty much famous for that. way first. I better no I'm gonna do it on from this side. Don't want to lose all of the color. have some colors left for accents. I'm going to leave this little blue spot down here. Oh, oh please don't go. That's not on that side anymore, but <laughs> I still didn't get my. I'll go get my. Um, concentrating. I don't know what it is. Artists have a hard time painting and talking at the same time. I'm not alone. <laughs> uh, I need to get my torch. Ooh, la la. Okay. Get it under this thing. There we go. Get it nice and level. And I will be back in a I don't know if you guys can see me or not. I do have an um, apron that, oh geez, that Joanne Ralston made for me and she brought it to the, oh, we'll have to take care of that. It's gonna get blown, blow dried anyway, so. Oh, look at all those luscious colors coming up. I'm gonna give it a minute so that the colors do come through. I'm glad I left this spot here, but it's going, I don't know if I'm going to blow it. I'll probably blow it. Don't just give it that much more depth. So lovely. I love, love, love doing these. I just can't stop. Now I'm gonna tilt it just a little bit to see if I have enough paint off. I didn't do really a vertical tilt. 
and we do have to have enough paint off. But we have to have enough to blow too. So such a delicate balance. So my handy blow dryer. I'm gonna take a sip of my beverage here. Crystal light peach mango. All right, here we go. Wow. Holy cow. You know, I probably could have gotten away with not blowing that because most of the paint is on that side because that's where I tilted last. Which, you can see, it's moving a whole lot now. Just in the middle. I can get some, oh geez, pipettes. Forgot those too. Wow. This is kind of incredible. Oh. It's an actual bald spot.
Hey guys, so this is the big piece. And let me tell you something. I don't know why I decided at the last freaking minute to change things up because the composition is not um, like the one last night. And, but I do really, let me look at those pigments. Are you kidding me? Yeah. But it's a lot better than what was underneath. So, um, and I'm not crying at all. Some beautiful shadow pearls there. There's a light that is motion activated. I'm trying not to let it go off, but, and I don't know, I'm going to have to go put the ladder on the other side to get the rest of this, but, um, so cool. I might not do that, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just going to give you a little, I'll just make it close up. So this is all cool, but this little, um, I don't know what it is. It's not a tree. It seems like it's in the ocean. Some kind of ocean, um, thing. <laughs> it's a thing. Um, my God. Look at that, that is gorgeous. So I saw a couple of gnats here, like right there. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot and it's kind of a cool night tonight. So hoping that they don't come. And uh, if you get gnats in your um, work, guys, let it dry and then just sand them out. <laughs> Cause if you try start picking at them, you're just gonna make a bigger mess. So please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now, and we'll see you soon.